We now know how the Lubbock Police Department's use of a drone helped pull an armed man from the 4th on Broadway crowd last week. KCBD News Channel 11's Dylan Villa shows us how officers use this technology and how it could help catch more suspects in the future. Independence Day, 4th on Broadway. We say a man illegally carrying a gun reached the crowd around the morning parade. Drone operators used a caller's description of the suspect and found him with three airborne cameras. Minutes later, officers detained 21-year-old Arshon Green, accusing him of unlawfully carrying a weapon. Without the drone unit's help, Corporal Tony Leal says those officers would not have found Green in the middle of the large crowd. I mean, there's, there's a lot of people, especially during the parade, lining the streets. And once we got that report of the individual, it, it was very helpful to be able to have the drone on scene already, able to scan the crowd and actually locate this one individual out of the crowd. The Lubbock Police Department has 13 drones and 21 drone operators. They're used to keep you and your family safe. I think right now it's coming to the point where the technology is so advanced that it's more of a question of why doesn't a department use a drone as to why are they using a drone. Drones have helped make many arrests. LVD knows there's concerns from some, but stress there's extensive training that goes into making its use safe. There's also plenty of regulations when it comes to using unmanned aerial vehicles, including reporting every flight to the state. The state of Texas government code actually has us send in uh, all of our flight telemetry, flight logs to the state. And so those flight logs are actually publicly available on uh, lubbockpolice.com and can be viewed by the public. Officers are asking for your trust with this equipment, saying it could help prevent and solve crimes well into the future. We don't want the public to live in fear. We want you to live your life and we want you to, to, to know that we are here to help whenever those reports come in and whenever we get information that something is wrong, we will investigate that. The department bought its first drone in 2016. Since then, it has expanded the unit with plans to keep growing to better serve and protect. Dylan Villa, KCBD News Channel 11.